Hi, I'm Nicole Gayton. I am an artist out of Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I am a very colorful wildlife artist. Here I am today, about 20 years later, uh, doing this full time. As a kid, I've always been really a big animal lover. Uh, that's part of the reason I paint wildlife. Growing up in Jackson Hole, my parents made it a huge part of our lives, getting out into the wilderness, hiking, having animals. Uh, we had two dogs growing up, a cat. Um, I was obsessed with horses and somehow I convinced my parents to buy me a horse and then a second horse. And <laughs> we didn't have the space for horses, but that was one of my first animals that I drew incessantly. And then art and horses were my life and it's one of my favorite things to draw. My love of animals just grew and I am a big um, contributor to a lot of wildlife funds in Grand Teton National Park, giving them a lot of uh, the funds that come from my paintings. So I get asked over and over again how I came up with this technique. And many people don't know that I use a squirt bottle similar to like a diner style ketchup bottle. I mix up black paint and water, and then I lay my canvas on the ground and I go wild. You can see that it sprays out, all these little black marks come out. And I came up with that after being young I was detail oriented, I would sketch out my drawing and I would never finish a project in my high school art classes until one day my teacher was like, you need to just like let loose, let it go. And we came up with this idea when we were working on painting projects to use a squirt bottle and that would help me complete my projects. So we tried it out and it was just like a magical experience how could get a drawing done within like, I don't know, 10 minutes. Um, and that's how things kind of evolved into this really wild style for me. Ever since, you know, it's evolved and become this whole magical process. I think in the area that we live in, wildlife seems to be a very popular subject matter. I also really enjoy painting their personalities and their eyes and it's been a really fun avenue to go down. I have decided to kind of experiment with some new color, um, some new subject matter. I typically only do one um, animal per piece and I've really kind of like challenged myself to put in more animals into one piece. So you'll see when we pan out here that I've done, you know, three foxes in one piece. I've done two bison in a piece. And then I have a really spectacular piece um, that is six feet long with, I don't even know how many bears, but there are probably 15 bears in there. I would love you all to see that. So I ended up in Park City meeting Colby, the owner of Pando Fine Art, by contacting him probably five to 10 times over and over again, begging him to take my work. I know that hundreds of artists get in touch with him. And I think it was either, I can't remember the, fifth or the tenth time that he finally responded like it was the first time oh I've been watching your art and I really want you here and he took a chance on me I think I was in one gallery at the time in Jackson and I came here on a Memorial Day weekend and I think five of the six pieces I brought down sold in the three days I was here and so it was like a match made in heaven and I have been here ever since and I believe that was five years ago now so it's like our fifth year anniversary and it's been really great ever since. Just being here in this gallery, the, the people that work here are so wonderful and incredible that, I mean, coming down, just making the trip is worth it. Come on down to Pando Fine Art to see my new work. It is right across from No Name Saloon and right next to the post office.